people become murdered. That's why in today's society, murderers end up getting sent up state for life. For life in prison. Right. See? Because the Lord ain't playing with murder. Out here killing our sons and our daughters. And the parents got to be the ones to be burying their children. See? And if you get caught up for murder, they're going to send you straight up and set you up with a free attorney that's going to cut a deal for you. And that deal going to send you up the river for a long time. So the Lord ain't playing with no murder. But what is murder? Go ahead. Exodus chapter 21, verse 12. He that smiteth a man so that he die shall be surely put to death. It says that what? He that smiteth a man so that he die shall be surely put to death. It says, he that smited the man that he died, he shall surely be put to death. See? So the Lord's showing you he ain't playing with the murderers around here. That's why a lot of these men end up dying and getting the electric chair. Go ahead. And if a man lie not in wait, but God deliver him into his hand, then I will appoint thee a place whither he shall flee. But... If a man come presumptuously. If he comes what? Presumptuously. So when the Lord said if a man come presumptuously, in a, in a day society, that's called premeditated. See? We sneaking, we creeping on each other. If a man come presumptuously in what? Upon his neighbor to slay him with guile. To slay him with what? Guile. With guile. That guile is a false appearance. You hear a lot of times in these streets, brothers up here walking up to each other, friends, setting each other up, shooting each other in the face, killing and murdering each other, setting each other up right. so they can rob them and they can steal them and they can jack from them. You bet you thought it was your old friends setting you up in today's society to have you killed and murdered for something that's so petty as your car or some money or your house. Read that part again. But if a man come presumptuously upon his neighbor to slay him with guile. It says to slay him with what? With guile. With guile. With hatred. See? What did, what did it say? Thou shalt take him from mine altar that he may die. It says thou shalt take him from my altar that he may die. That's coming out the laws of the Most High. See? Lord wasn't playing with no murders. That's why we got to repent. That's why we got to stop dealing with anger. Because all those things lead to the crime of murder. When we're dealing with sin, in the Bible we're dealing with crimes against the Lord. Not against society, but against the Most High. Most High deems what's right and what's wrong. See? Because this society, you see things in the Bible, and they come up with their own justice for it. Right. Sometimes they don't even give justice for certain crimes in the Bible. And that's why we've been, that's why we've been in the predicament that we're in. So go back to Hosea. Hosea 4 and 2. By swearing. By swearing. And lying. It says, and lying. That's a dangerous thing. Lying, being, being sitting up deceiving one another. That's going on in the community. Go to uh, Proverbs 13. By swearing and by lying. See? Verse 11. Go back to Jose. By, by lying and by swearing, Look at 21. Nah, it's quite a lot. You're getting wealth by line. That's alright, we get fine, I ain't gonna worry about it. 
Proverbs 21 verse 6. The getting of treasures by a lying tongue is a vanity. It says the getting of treasures by a lying tongue is what? Is a vanity. Is a vanity. You got a lot of people out here getting rich off a of lying. See? Especially if I shut the it says a lot of people out here getting rich by lying, by being deceitful, by running scams and schemes on one another. See, a lot of these rappers out here lying and getting rich by telling these lies about what they used to do. Right. A lot of these rappers be sitting up here, a lot of these entertainers preach and they lie about taking drugs and rap about it in their songs. And then when you see them in an interview, they say that's just promotional stuff. Don't even smoke drugs. Don't even drink. Can't stand getting high, but they're pushing these lies to the children. They got them all turned up on all these different drugs. They got their minds all twisted and, and, and burnt out. But what's happening? They're getting paid off of these lies. Claiming that they were drug dealers when they was really parole officers. <laughs> Claiming they was drug dealers, but they telling stories of another man's life when they went to prison. See? But they getting paid off of these lies. Going on platinum. Selling out arenas. A lot of these dudes be rapping and lying about how they be in the hood. They ain't been, in, ain't been to the neighborhood in years. But they getting paid for it. It says, the what? The getting of treasures by a lying tongue is a vanity toss. It's a vanity toss. Go ahead. To and fro of them that seek death. And then it says that them that seek death. Go ahead. The robbery of the wicked. It says the robbery of the wicked. Go ahead. Shall destroy them. It says shall what? Destroy them. Shall destroy them. That's why a lot of our people we end up doing these, especially in the neighborhood. You got a lot of these kids, a lot of these men running up in houses, wow. robbing and stealing from one another. Hitting the safe, getting destroyed, a lot of them getting killed, a lot of them getting 10 years in prison, 10 years of their life thrown away off of an uh, in-home robbery, going to jail. Foolishness. This says the robbery, what? The robbery of the wicked shall destroy them. It's gonna destroy go us. Go ahead. Because they refuse to do judgment. That's because they refuse to do what? To do judgment. Because they refuse to do the judgment of the Most High. That's why they're going to be destroyed. So we go back to Hosea. Chapter 4. Hosea 4, verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. See? That's why the Most High be having a problem with us. No truth, no mercy, no knowledge of the Most High in the land. Go ahead. By swearing. By what? By swearing. What else? And lying. And lying to one another, being deceitful. See? Showing God, showing false appearance. What else? And killing. And what? And killing. We killing each other. Most High had a problem with that. Go ahead. And stealing. And what? And stealing. These are the things that plague us. These are the these are the situations that we deal with every day amongst the nation of Israel. We don't never deal with no political issues. Lying, stealing, killing, swearing against each other. See? Most high got a problem with those things. What else? And committing adultery and doing what and committing adultery it says and committing adultery we rap about adultery and a lot of these musicians like to rap about adultery right taking your woman why am i gonna pay 200 dollars for some rapper to tell me how much i'm a punk and how you gonna steal my woman from me it's foolishness man <laughs> but we sitting up getting drunk we dabbing on it and all this other stupid stuff and they getting rich off of it they getting awards for speaking about sleeping with somebody else's woman. They getting respect for that. You got Future out there talking about taking Scottie Pippen's woman. Never get your girl back. 
<laughs> trash. <laughs> He's trash. Sound like nickname Patty Whack, man. A lot of these rappers is terrible. Yep. What's the dude on Fat Albert? Mush mouth. Mush mouth. Horrible. Rapping about committing adultery. Rapping about sleeping with somebody else's woman. Right. And we sitting up pumping in our cars. Yeah, we love it. Oh man. Yeah, that's that's the that's the music. Rapping about a Draco. That dude don't even probably don't even own no guns. <laughs> Got security all around him. You <laughs> mean lying each lying, lying about their life. Commit the adultery. See? This world, this society is way out of order, and we following it straight to hell. Not only are they rapping about adultery, they got websites. Online dating. Cheaters. Ashley Madison. And you had some of the top officials looking for some of the freakiest affairs on Ashley Madison getting busted. Because that's what they pump. A website dedicated to cheating on your spouse. It's foolishness. But here we go, we sign up for that stuff. We love it. Then come home with chlamydia and pass it to the wife and all types of stuff. How you doing, brother? Right? We ain't coming back. Sorry. We'll get him. It says, and committing adultery. See what the problem, see what the Lord got a problem with? This is the stuff that is plaguing us. Committing adultery, lying, stealing, see? Matthew 5, 27, let's get some of that adultery. Because if we don't know what the Most High is upset with, how are we gonna solve the problems? How are we gonna fix it? How are we gonna keep the Lord's hand off our back? If we don't even know what the Lord gets upset about, we're thinking the Lord care about who won the NBA Finals. We really think the Most High care about who's going to be the MVP next week. Most High don't give a damn about none of that stuff. Who won in gold medals? We really think God is concerned with all these awards and accolades of this world. He tell us what He upset about. He tell us what He mad about. It says we're not supposed to be committing adultery. See, but we look at it and we think that's funny. They make shows about it. They make movies about adultery. The wedding crasher. Guy comes in, steals another woman that's betrothed to a man that's supposed to be getting married. And steals her away at her wedding scene. And that's a movie that's celebrated. Blockbuster, 500 million at the box office but it's about committing adultery. And they push this fornication to our people. We fall right into the trap. What did Christ say about adultery? Matthew 5, 27. Ye have heard that it was said of them by old time. It says, you have heard that it was said of them by old time, meaning in the Old Testament, meaning in the law. Read. Thou shalt not commit adultery. It says what? Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not commit adultery. That's a, that's a, that's a sexual crime. But if you commit to do you commit adultery in today's society, your wife cheat on you, she get half of everything you took, she get half of your pension that you wouldn't been together with, half of the house, you gotta pay alimony, and then you gotta pay child support. Well she cheated on you. That's how you know we live in a corrupt system. Right. We live in a corrupt world where they celebrate adulterers. Put them on a put them on a cover of People magazine and promote them like Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Mm. See, straight adultery, but they they promote that fornication to our people, and we think it's cute. We fall into the trap. The Lord said, "What? You have heard that it was said by them of old time, thou shalt not commit adultery." It says, "Thou shalt not commit adultery." The word key being thou shall not. 
No matter how she looked, no matter what her relationship status is, no matter what the situation in our relationship and our marriage is, the Most High never gave us permission to intervene between somebody's marriage or for us to go outside our marriage. Right. Don't matter if we're not, oh, I'm not happy in my marriage, so you know what? I had to go find me somebody else. I divorced my husband, I divorced my wife, but what do you call it? Irreconcilable? Irreconcilable differences. Irreconcilable differences, meaning we couldn't get along. Meaning I found somebody better. The Lord said, thou shalt not commit adultery. So he never, he never gave us permission or an excuse to weasel up out of a marriage. See? Neither did he commit, give us permission to go and fornicate. So Christ put it and said, you have heard by them of old times, thou shalt not commit adultery. Go ahead. But I said to you. But now, Christ is going to take this law to a spiritual level. He's going to take it to the next level. He says, but I say unto you. He's not changing the law. He's showing us how to really keep it. Read. That whosoever. That what? Whosoever. Go ahead. Looketh on a woman to lust after her. If we look upon a woman to lust after her. Meaning we look at a woman with desire, with the intent to sleep with her. We're looking upon a woman a lust after her, meaning we wickedly design this woman sexually. Because a person may not physically go after your woman, but he'll, he'll fantasize about her. Right. He'll daydream about your woman. Look, but don't touch. Drink, but don't swallow. Touch, but don't taste. See? All this wickedness that we like to play around with sin with. You look upon a woman to lust after her. These are the things that be going on. Making songs about her. See? Making poems about her. Or about him. What did it say? But I said to you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her have committed adultery with her already in his heart. So if we look upon a woman just to lust after her, the Lord said we had already committed adultery with her already where? In his heart. In our hearts. In our minds, we already committed adultery just by looking and lusting after her. Right. See? The Lord said keep your hands to yourself and keep your mind to yourself. Be looking at a woman to lust after the desire sexually fantasizing about her. See? Daydreaming about her. That's not how we're supposed to be dealing with women. The scriptures tell us how to deal with a woman. Go to uh, Ecclesiastes. You can drop that one. 25. Lord show us how to deal with a woman. You got these young boys and grown men and grown women and young girls in high school fantasizing about each other, writing notes to each other, DMing each other on Instagram, sending them all types of lewd pictures and everything. Thinking your daughter in there doing her homework, she doing her homework all right. She's sending out naked photos to the guys and the fellas. Yeah. Lord show us how to deal with a woman. He's showing us, Reed. Really. Ecclesiasticus 25, 21. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman. It says, stumble not at the beauty of a woman. Go ahead. And desire her not for pleasure. See? Don't let the woman's beauty cause us to stumble. And we're not supposed to be sitting up looking at a woman desiring her for pleasure. Like we want to get busy with. That's why Christ said, look, you look upon her lust. You already committed adultery in your heart. Law already for law confirmed it too. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman, neither what? And desire her not for pleasure. Don't desire her for pleasure. Yeah, let's be, we work, we working with it. Lord showing us how to deal with these women. Don't look at her and don't have it, don't have it cause you to stumble. To where we start breaking the commandments of the Most High. 
and then we're not supposed to be desiring her for pleasure. We be listening at the woman so hard, brother. Dude, we can't do nothing but think about her all day long. All of our thoughts are consumed with that woman. And half the time, she ain't even thinking about you. Please the ask is done. Please the ask is nine and three. Meet not within harlot, lest thou fall into her snare. See? Lord said we're not supposed to be meeting with harlots. Sitting up creeping around. Going to the going to the momo. Huh? Says we're not supposed to be meeting and dealing with no harlots. Let's not be taken with our snares, our traps. See? A lot of brothers get caught up dealing with these harlots. It's not just talking about prostitutes either. See, we meet up with these harlots, we end up getting caught up and get trapped. That's how a lot of brothers end up in jail for rape, in jail for sexual assault. Meeting up with these women as harlots. A lot of these entertainers end up getting sued for getting these women pregnant and getting, getting themselves caught up in a world of trouble. Go ahead. Use not much the company of a woman that is a singer, lest thou be taken with her attempts. Gaze not on a babe. It says what? Gaze not on a babe. Don't gaze upon a maid. Meaning we staring and we looking at her and lusting after with a desire. It says gaze not upon a maid. A lot of times we staring at these women, putting them on pedestals, getting captivated by their beauty. It says, gaze not upon a maid, what else? That thou fall not by those things that are precious in her. It says that thou stand strong. That thou fall not by those things that are precious in her. Gazing upon a woman can cause us to fall, see? Lesson after a woman's beauty can cause us to fall. We fall by those things that are precious in us. See? And her. The Lord allow us, the Lord I have the Lord is the waters. We start doing these things. We start praying his commandments. That's how we end up getting caught up. Go ahead. Give not thy soul unto harlots, that thou lose not thy inheritance. See? Give not thy soul unto harlots. We end up losing our inheritance. Just like the man in Luke chapter 15, the prodigal son. Gave his soul on the heart as he lost his whole inheritance behind that. That whole lifestyle. Give our soul on the heart as we end up going dead broke. Losing everything behind the woman. See? She catch you up with that child support. Right. She catch you up with that alimony. We finish. She driving around in the bins that you paying for. Paying for the rent and the insurance, and we back on the bus. See? End up losing our inheritance. We end up just like Samson. Getting destroyed. Why? Dealing with harlots. Continue. Look not round about thee in the streets of the city. See? Driving up and down the streets, macking, on the creek, trying to find you a victim. That's what it is. Driving up and down the streets, in the clubs, in the secret places, in the party scenes, in the brothel, in the parking lot, exactly. It says, read it again. Look not round about thee in the streets of the city, neither wander thou in the solitary places thereof. In the thereof. solitary places thereof. The secret places. Lord said we're not supposed to be out there in the clubs. Out there in them strip clubs. Out there in the nightclubs. See? Out there in the sports bar looking for what? Looking for women. Looking for sex. Looking for a good time. And we're going to find it all right. A lot of us be at them strip bars. That's why you can't get, that's why you can't get a so-called black man the Hispanic man no money. 
give too much money, be shooting out the progressive gun or slap it on some woman's behind while she twerking. And running down at a, and she sliding down at a, at a, at a club. Don't be out there looking for the woman in the solitary places. That shit scared me. See? No, but what I told you, I told you, you be out there in them nightclubs and them strip clubs. Ain't nothing positive going on at one in the morning. Trust me. But we be out there. And whatever we looking for is going to find us. See? Big wheels with the uh, with the cars at the pedal. Where's the ass against 98? Turn away thine eye from a beautiful woman. Says, Turn away thine eye from a beautiful woman. Why? And look not upon another's beauty. See? Turn away thine eye from a beautiful woman? Meaning don't be lusting after beautiful women. Don't be lusting after no woman, period. And do what? Look not upon another's beauty. Don't be looking upon another's man for desire, for pleasure. Go ahead. For many have been deceived. It says for many have been what? Deceived. How? By the beauty of a woman. Many have been deceived and fallen by the beauty of a woman. Plain and simple. That ain't hard to figure out. Many have been deceived. And have been, have been and have fallen by the beauty of a woman. That's what happened to uh, what's the cat name from uh, Steve uh, Steve McNair. Look how he ended up. Pray for the brother that he that he ended up in the resurrection. Went down, went out like a, I don't want to say the word, but he went out. He went out bad. He went out horrible. He went out infamous, put it that way. Sneaking around, creeping. Yep. And got caught, ended up getting a bullet to the head with his girlfriend. Caught in her house. And now his kids and his wife gotta live with that. See? Sad how this thing be going down. Lord be warned us, don't get caught up into these traps. For herewith love is kindled as a fire. Sit not at all with another man's wife. Right. That be happening in the workplace. Sitting down, flirting, eating dinner, having lunch with another man's wife. See? Knowing she married, but you're going out and you're taking her out to brunch. Let me take you out to lunch. Let me take you out to dinner. My husband's working late. You want to go get something to eat? We can go hang out. And then one thing leads to another, which usually happens because one thing always leads to another. And then it says what? Nor sit down with her in thine arms and spend not thy money with her at the wine. It says don't sit with her in your arms and don't be spending your money with her at the what? At the wine. At the wine. Be sitting up, have going. A lot of people have to sit up and go and have drinks. Go to the bar with somebody else's spouse. But it's so innocent to they end up messing around, kissing, sleeping with one another, having sex, doing all kinds of types of foolishness that could have been avoided if we just applied basic commandments. See? So let's go back. Go ahead, finish Sit not at all with another man's wife, nor sit down with her in thine arms, and spend not thy money with her at the wine, lest thine heart get cried unto her, and so dull thy desire, thou fall into destruction. See? Sit down with another man's wife, sit down at the bar, spending your money with her, taking, her, taking your best friend's woman out to eat. Oh man, we just chilling. We just kicking it. Ain't nothing going on, then it says what? You end up inclining your heart to her, and you end up sleeping with her, committing adultery. Lord be showing us how to avoid these problems, but guess what? This stuff be pushed upon our people in movies, 
and music and songs. R. Kelly made that, uh, what's that? In the, in the closet? R. Kelly made that uh, creeping in the closet, whatever that is, by sleeping around with somebody else's wife. But the stuff get pumped to us. Not realizing this stuff is leading to our destruction and our demise. So let's go back to Hosea. Verse 1 again. Hosea 4 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the most high have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery. And committing adultery. Go ahead. They break out. They what? They break out. They break out. What else? And blood touches blood. And it says, and blood touches blood. So we want to know what the pro what the Most High has a problem with. Why, my brothers, my sisters, we can't get together in the community. What's the problem? Why we hate? Why we have so much, so many problems and issues? It's found right here in the Bible. That's right. The scriptures tell us everything we need to do to fix our problems. But who gonna repent and take it upon themselves? See. Okay. To start solving the problems and the issues. How long are we going to have the Lord angry with us? How long are we going to have the Lord allow the people to continue to shoot us down in the streets? We kill one another, send each other to the morgue. We filling up the jails. We filling up the mental institutions. We filling up the county buildings and the foster care. It's our children and it's our people that's caught up into that. We're refugees in our own country. Refugees in America being treated like second-class citizens. Why? Because we're not applying what God said. Continue. Therefore shall the land born. Shall the what? Therefore shall the land born. Because the Lord was going about, he was about to give us over to the hands of our enemies. Go ahead. And everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish. It says everyone that dwelleth in the land shall do what? Shall languish. The same thing that's happening today. We languishing. But in another man's land, read. With the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven, yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. Yet let no man strive, nor reprove another. For this people are as they that strive with the priests. Therefore shalt thou fall in the day, and the prophet also shall fall with thee in the night. And I will destroy thy mother. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. All this leads to one thing. All that controversy, all that destruction that follows the controversy, the Lord is explaining why are we going through what we're going through. It says what? My people. All people. My people. Every nation on the planet. My people. The Most High singly addresses the nation of Israel. They're called black, so called Hispanics. It says, for my people are what? Destroyed. It says they are destroyed. For lack of knowledge. We destroyed for the lack of knowledge, brothers. We're not destroyed because we don't have enough money. Right. They don't set up gas stations, 7-Elevens. Two gas stations at a McDonald's because the community's broke. They're not doing that because there ain't no money here. They're doing it because they know they can make a killing. There's plenty of money in this neighborhood. There's plenty of money in our community. That's why they come set up shop. We got schools on every corner. We got liquor stores on every corner. So business is booming. Education is booming. But the Lord said, read it from the top. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. What causes the nation of Israel to be destroyed is the lack of knowledge. The lack of knowledge of the Most High. Read. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. It says because thou hast rejected knowledge, the Most High said he will also reject us. We don't want to listen to the commandments of the Most High. The Most High said he was going to reject his people. How? By putting us into captivity. How do you think we got over here and got the last name Johnson? Jackson. See, Mosley, Morris. Right. How do you think we got that last name? We didn't get off no post with no last name. How do you think we got the last name Gonzalez? Trujillo. That's the last name of our oppressors.
Jesus that the Lord did to us. Hold that. Go to Isaiah 42 and 24. We think it's coincidence that we went into captivity in these slave ships, that we served in these farms and these cotton gins and these sugar canes. We think that's a coincidence. Most High said, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. And he said he would forget about us. How? By putting us into captivity. Read. Isaiah 42, 24. Who gave Jacob for a spoil? It says, who gave Jacob to us for a spoil? What else? And Israel to the robbers. And Israel to the who? To the robbers. So we wondering how we got over in this condition? Because a lot of people like to say, oh, I don't see the captivity and the slavery of the so-called black and brown man as divine intervention. Well, let's see if the Bible says different. Read it from the top. Who gave Jacob for a spoil?